Good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. How are you today? I am here with this sweet little angel, Rachel, and we're going to be changing her today and uh, getting her ready for Theme Thursday. And while I do this, I want to, oops, I want to do a tag, uh, Mia's tag from Wishes and Wonder. Um, and uh, I'll do that while I change her. And uh, so I've got it here on my trusty phone. She was so kind as to write the questions out. And uh, I'm going to be putting this simple little outfit on Rachel, which is a little onesie um, in a dusky rose. It says, love you, and some glittery letters, and has a little strawberry for the O. A little bow here at the top, and a little pair of pink trousers with the ruffles on the bottom. So we're going to get her ready for theme Thursday and um, do this tag. And the tag is behind the scenes is what it's called. Look at the cute little bald head. Mm -hmm. Kissy, kissy. Let um, me have this, Rachel. And um, so let's get started with that. See if I can do several things at once. The first question is, how do you prepare for letting go of a doll? Now, Mia, we talked about this on the phone. <laughs> and uh, the thing is, I have not let go of a doll. Well, I did, actually. I gave a, a baby to my um, granddaughter. But to, you know, sell one or let it go, um, the one I gave my granddaughter was one that I made. It was the um, um, June, I think. 10 or 11 month June, however old she was. Yeah, and uh, but I have not gotten rid of any of my babies per se um, because I just don't know how. But um, Mia, when we had talked, had told me a really good thing, and I think she even said this on her tag that uh, she will take a baby and uh, wrap it up and put it away for a while in a closet and if she doesn't miss it then she knows it's time to let it go and uh, so i thought that was a brilliant idea and i may have to try that because i am overrunning this nursery with babies there's just so many but i love them all i don't know how to get rid of them so if i ever do get to a point where i need to start thinking of letting some go that's what i will do is put it in uh wrap it up box it away and see if i can get by with without it then i'll know it's time to let it go number two have you ever not liked a baby when you did the box opening but grew to love it afterwards um i usually love the baby when i Buy it, you know, so that hasn't really been a, an issue. Uh, there's probably been some that I liked a little more than others, but um, for the most part, I love them before I even get them, so I know I'm going to love them when they come. And um, so, no, I haven't run into that problem yet. Number three, my baby clothes drawers are pick one. A, in good shape, B, so-so, or C, a hot mess, and help. Um, my drawers are pretty much organized. Um, that, you know, I, I stack my clothes. I don't lay them flat like this. I do them up this way so I can rifle through them. Uh, and they're pretty much organized. The only, so that would be an A. They're in good shape. But I'd also like to say be so-so in the fact that they are just slam-packed full of clothes. So they're organized, but they're full. Uh, number four, your friend is planning to buy a new doll that you know is a stolen sculpt. Do you approve, warn her, or disapprove? And if so, tell her how you feel. Um, I've never come across that, but 
Um, I can't imagine, I would probably let her know that it wasn't an authentic sculpt and then let her make her own decision. Uh, because I'm pretty sure most of us would want an authentic sculpt, but you know, a lot of times people buy these um, uh, stolen sculpts or whatever you want to call them because they're cheaper and they just don't have the money. So I'm certainly not going to tell anybody what to do with their money, if you know what I mean. And uh, so I would just let them know that it was an authentic sculpt and let them make their own decision. And I certainly uh, can't approve or disapprove of anybody doing what they want to do. You know, some people buy um, dolls out of innocence. You know, they don't know. And so they knew it might be a different story so I'd at least let them know but I wouldn't judge um, you go you want your binky back huh you want your binky back there you go there we go let's see what else it's okay number five it's another box opening video you need some she needs some little chalkies don't you we need some of those shockies or do you just want to hang on to those cute little feet? Okay, so the next one is number five. It's another box opening video. You pick one. A, fast forward to the baby reveal. B, savor all the lead up stuff and wait to see the doll. And C, fast forward to the baby, then backtrack. Okay, this one's easy for me. I definitely want to wait um i i love when people get new babies these socks are humongous on you baby um i love when they get new babies and i love their excitement and i feel the excitement and uh so just as uh when i get a box opening to do that i make myself wait to the end um to see the baby, uh, I don't mind waiting to the end to to see um, everyone else's new babies. I think it's part of the fun to watch and anticipate. And there are some times though when uh, boxing openings are going extremely slow, I will say, get to the baby already. <laughs> uh, but no, I like to watch it to the uh, to the big reveal at the end. Um, now, there are times like if, I like to see all the goodies, and but sometimes, you know, when they're going through and having to explain each, each little piece, which I do myself, if I have time, that's great, I watch it. If not, I can just slide along the bottom of the video and I can see everything as it comes up, but just like frame by frame, so I can see it, and that goes a little bit faster I just get through the explanations of it because I can see what it is. Um, that's the only way I will, will go through them faster. But I like to, I like the anticipation. So yeah, I like to watch it. Uh, number six, be honest. What makes you unsubscribe from a channel? Um, too much drama. Um, now, you know, and by that I mean perpetuated drama like it's something that can be avoided, but it's not, you know, and there's too much controversy going on and too much bickering and arguing. And she said, she said, and it's, um, it makes me uncomfortable and that's not what I got into the hobby for. And so I will unsubscribe for that reason because I don't need any more, uh, of that in my life. <laughs> this is my happy place and I want it to stay my happy place. Um, now, if you're having a problem, if you're ill or something like that, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about uh, back biking, back biting, hateful speech, um, putting people down, that kind of drama stuff. I'm not into that. Okay, number seven. Would you say you interact in some way with a doll or dolls in your collection at least once a day? No, I don't. Uh, I wish I could. But I just don't have the time. Uh, I have been known to like breeze in here and like pat each one or give a kiss to you know, a few of them or pick one up. But it's not on a daily basis. Um, I generally don't play 
you know, play with my dolls um, other than when I make videos and change them. But I will cuddle with them like watching TV or something, but not on a daily basis, no. Um, number eight, you find a $20 bill in the pocket of your pants. You A, put it towards this week's grocery bill. B, donate it to your favorite charity. C, rush out to buy more baby clothes. Or D, realize these aren't your pants. Well, this is uh, funny that this came up right now because I just found inside my purse, I have a zip pocket and I have things in there like my inhaler, um, dental floss, um, nail clipper, you know, nail file, pen, that kind of thing, just a little store all pouch there. And I was going through it the other day looking for something and I found a $1 bill and a $100 bill. Now, I cannot for the life of me ever remember putting that in that pocket. I'm sure I did, but I don't remember when or how long ago it was or whatever. Um, and what do I do with it? I left it in there. I haven't spent it. I haven't saved it. I haven't given it away. I haven't realized it wasn't my purse. Um, I'm just leaving it there for an emergency. So that's what, keep it for an emergency. Number nine, do you cover your dolls with a blanket when it's chilly inside so they won't be cold? Um, sometimes, but there's 35 of them and no, I don't do them all. Um, but if I am interacting with them and they look cold because <laughs> I'm cold, I will. My, I'm sorry if I touch that. Um, I used to tell my kids, like when they would go out to play, I'd say, put on a sweater or put on a jacket or something like that. And they won't. They don't want to. They're saying, well, I'm not cold. So I always told my kids, a sweater is something you wear when your mama's cold. So if I'm cold, I think the babies are cold, then I'll wrap them up. If I'm comfortable, then I think they're comfortable, and I don't. Um, Ten, do you foresee still being in this hobby five years from now? Absolutely. I absolutely do. I've been collecting dolls since I was old enough to know what a doll was. I've been playing with dolls, and then, uh, I mean, we're talking... 60 plus here 60 plus years guys so if i haven't stopped by now i'm not ever going to stop so as long as i'm able and can do it i will yes be in this hobby all right so there you go mia that's the tag uh, ladies it was a lot of fun i hope you participate and here's my sweet little rachel all ready for theme thursday in her little polka dots okay um i to update you a little bit um i went to my doctor last week and i was told that i don't have to come back hey unless there's an issue or a problem so um healing is doing well and this has been a three and a half year long journey to get to this point so i'm very excited and i appreciate all of y'all's prayers i think thank you for all of those of you who have prayed are still praying and uh, asking how i'm doing um, i'm doing great praise god he is awesome and still on his throne so that's an update on me and uh, uh, hopefully we'll see y'all tomorrow. So love you. Take care. Bye-bye.